Hey there guys, how are you? So today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Cabin Fever, the 2016 remake. So Cabin Fever follows the same synopsis as the original Cabin Fever movie from 2002. Uh, so there is a group of college students that decide to go to this cabin in the woods in the middle of nowhere, and there is a flesh-eating virus being spread around. So yeah, this remake was not released in theaters, it was actually a video on demand movie, which is pretty interesting. So not too much has changed from the original Cabin Fever movie from 2002, which was like 14 years ago, uh, simply because, well, um, it does in fact use the same script from the original as well as the same scenes and a lot of the same characters for the most part that was in the original as well. So yeah, so this new remake was not directed by Eli Roth. It was actually directed by a guy named Travis Z, who I'm not too familiar with and I don't really... Uh, know him as a director you know I've never seen his previous work before but for the most part I nevertheless he did do a pretty good job directing this remake I thought for the most part to a certain extent so yeah so there were definitely some really gory scenes that were updated and improved for sure especially one particular scene that involves a bathtub which I will not spoil just in case if you haven't seen the original or the remake but if you have you probably already know exactly what scene I'm referring to already. Yeah, but my biggest issue with this remake is that it's a little bit too predictable. Now, if you're someone like me who has seen the original countless times, you can literally predict where each and every scene is going to play out. There were a lot of times where I would definitely say to myself, oh, oh yeah, I remember seeing that scene in the original. Oh yeah, I remember hearing that line from the original, etc., etc., which is fully expected at this point when it's being shot for shot remade with the same script. Uh, so yeah, Travis Z does take a lot of uh, scenes that were cool from the original and kind of expand upon it with the gory scenes, which look phenomenal, by the way, and love the practical gore effects in this movie. They look absolutely stunning. They look so disturbing and so hard to watch at certain points. And they really do um, shine in this movie and uh, they really do flash out all the characters don't really flesh out too much, but, you know, they uh, uh, really hit the nail with the gore effects. I mean, Travis Z really did hit the nail with the gore effects for sure. Uh, yeah, they look as good as they can possibly be for a horror movie and for, uh, like, blood and gore in general. The big question is, was a Cabin Fever remake really necessary? Probably not, but this movie was not too bad. So Cabin Fever is a well-made remake with really gruesome imagery and some minor changes here and there. So I'm going to give Cabin Fever, the 2016 remake, a B-. So I would say if you are a fan of the original, or at least liked the original Cabin Fever movie, you will probably like this one as well, or you may not, it really depends. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought of Cabin Fever, the 2016 remake, down below in the comments. I will be sure to read them. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy, guys, and take care, everyone.